not forget to tune in and keep it locked into the Ubuntu FM hip hop show where I, Chris Duff, will take you through some of the UK's leading hip hop artists. Oh my gosh, it's going to be an excellent show. See you there. Incoming. Oh my God, ladies and gentlemen, I am so gassed, you don't even understand. In the studio with me right now is Carter the Bandit. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> like that. So yeah, in the studio, uh, we have Carter. Carter, say hey, hello hey, to the people hey. then. Hey everyone, how you doing? Nice, nice. So what brings you to Birmingham? So I'm in Birmingham at the moment because I am performing at Birmingham Pride. Future stage. Nice! Yeah. Uh, give it up for that. That's some funny shit. Alright then, cool. So I'm going to get through this interview quickly because I've got like loads of views here and I want to get all of y'all in there kind of thing. So, what, well, how did you come up with your name, Carter the Bandit? So, probably six years ago, I was dancing. So I'll say six years, probably seven years ago now. Um, I was dancing and I was just a bunch of my other friends and we were like sitting down and we was like we should become like a um, bashman dancehall group because we were twerking and stuff like that and we was the baddest but we're still the baddest anyway <laughs> but um literally we was like let's call ourselves the bandits like something something could all lines of bandits or something to do with your group and everyone had different names and i just came with carter but i don't know where it came from so from there i just went with carter the bandit okay yeah nice um how long have you been doing music i've been doing music three years Three years? Yes. Wow, that's a real, because I've looked at your numbers kind of thing on the Spotify and on the, in the TikTok and whatnot, and those are some good numbers for three years. <laughs> How have you managed to do that? Um, With the numbers, I mean, kind of thing. Is it just like constantly on the thing, like on the phone, posting like you young people do? No, do you know what? When I was dancing, I think that's where most of the following came from, especially like American followers. So it was a lot of like me tagging artists and getting reposted on their pages and stuff like that. So nice. That's where most of the following came from. And then with the music, I feel like it was just more shared out, like after I wrote a freestyle where I had the following most of it already. Well, I mean, the music speaks for itself, for sure, kind of thing. In fact, let's go into one of your tracks right now. Um, this one is called Never. Please stop selling them lies, bandit bop when I'm pulling up high. Bad B on the block, I'm nice. I got the juice too silly with the rhymes. Fucking with my energy, big bang, I'm that one killing beats. Talk of the town, yeah, I'm in the streets. Fucking with me, must be in your dreams. Two shots of the henny, I'm Shelly with it. Set trends, make bread, I'm steady with it. Make man break next when I step, piss a check, get bun. If you talk, I'm heady with it. When I step in the room, I'm ready with it. There's a fire in the booth, I'm heavy with it. 22's my year, no shares, don't care, it's a real big look, there's levels to this. Oh my god, that was a complete and utter bop. Tell me about the track, please. Thank you. So, never. Um, I think I was going through. I think I had an argument with someone at the time, but I feel like I was having a lot of arguments at the time, and um, I just felt like I could never be that guy. Like people could never try me really and truly because I don't know no one like that. So I turned the chorus into I can never be that guy, and I kept saying that over again. And then the lyrics kind of like more speak for themselves. Like people telling lies on me. Um, just a whole load of like rubbish that people have said about me basically but i'm just kind of letting them know that like i'm still hard regardless okay cool and do you tend to do that like um put a lot of what's going on in your personal life into your music or do you like to write from like a first uh, a second person perspective no, i write from everything that's happening in the moment okay cool and um, when did you know when was the catalyst and uh, when did you know that you've got something and this is what you want to pursue so I've always been like into performing arts and stuff like that, but like I didn't ever think I'd be rapping. Like I, I basically sing. Okay. But I haven't shown that side yet. Okay. Yeah. Whoa, you got a singer up in this place. <laughs> Are you gonna drop some bars on us? Oh no, no. no, no. <laughs> <laughs> but um, yeah, like 
literally when I started writing, I think the first time I wrote a freestyle and posted it on Instagram and got like a lot of replies from it and stuff, I thought, okay, cool. Okay. So I'm just trying to see where this goes because I feel like I can mix the dancing with the music mm-hmm. and then do something and then from there. Nice. I love to hear it kind of thing. And so what do your friends and your family, you know, when I was growing up, um, although my mum's a fantastic singer kind of thing, she's from the church and it, and music wasn't really a job, do you know what I mean, per se. She wanted me to go pursue some law or some doctoring of some of something. Mm-hmm. I am going to pursue doctor, but it's just not where the um where she expected it to, it to be. But what support did you were, you were you supported by your parents and your friends and your loved ones and whatnot? So with family, yeah, like uh, I feel like my mom. She was half half because I feel like she didn't really know exactly how like how much following I have on Insta and stuff until one day we had a discussion about it. But um now she sees everything in like all the bookings and stuff. She's like, yeah, okay, cool. Everything's happening. Money's coming. <laughs> yeah. Like, okay, cool. like that's that's the main thing. Like especially because I live by myself and I live with my mom, mm-hmm. so it's like how you pay for everything. You need to make sure you have got a job. Like, yeah. What's going on? And like with friends, everyone's been really supportive. Like supportive. For real, because I see a lot of your friends, a lot of your friends actually in the studio with yes. us now, kind of thing. Um, over here, we have Monzo. Um, come over here, come over, <laughs> yeah. in the, come over to the lights, Caroline. <laughs> hey, Monzo. Hey, what's up? Say hello to the people then. Hey, what's up, people then? All right, then, cool. <laughs> so, um, yeah, you turn the same questions as well with you. Um, you know, what, how did you come up with your name and, and, and stuff like that? And how long have you been doing music? Um, with my name, people just always called me Monzo, Mons, um, more money, more problems. Like, people used to just call me that all the time. So it just that's how it just came about, you know, for people calling me that. Okay. It's like, okay, well, since everyone called you Monzo, like, that's my... Oh, do you know what I want to do right now? I want to pull up one of the tracks kind of thing because you two's got track together called... Yeah, who's, called that? Wh- who's that? Yeah. All right, let's pull up Who's That right now. Oi, 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 who's that coming for me? I, I gotta get to the bag, but your man won't lean and step in for free. Nah, I can never be that guy. Big man telling white lies. New kid on the scene when I talk, it's a move. I'm a big deal now, the one vibes. Uh, oi, oi, who's that coming for me? I, I gotta get to the bag, but your man won't lean and step in for free. Nah, I can never be that guy. Big man telling white lies. New kid on the scene when I talk, it's a move. I'm a big deal now, the one vibes. Yo, me say, who's that, who's that? Yo, me say, who's that? Who's that? Look, I can never be that girl, but I will if I need, but I don't wanna do that. I'm a nice girl, let's not abuse that. Super glue grip, we no use blue tack. Oh, yeah, swift cars, we no want to use that. Oh, yeah, mountain line in a real life, you don't wanna do that. What we gonna do at? What we gonna do? On my own team, still step out with a crew. Why you use that? Tell me who. Why you caught up? Who's that you? Flex on who? I ain't say your name while you texting on my new school, but I'm known as a veteran. North side of London, teams get techie. Shame on you, can't step where you have been. Red light, green light, go time, boom. It's a movement when I come true. If I aim this pen your size, I'm starving to make him wish come true. See my small line, look alike, look a bit, yeah. You know I said the look a tie, right? Bike all night, chill, say my look a right. Water park, feature, tip, then slip and slide. Bad guys segment, this year in a dog. We get buck while parties pop up. All the talk online for the birds, and we know about the barking straight for the dog. No Flandons red, goon, I'm gonna light up your room. No Flandons red, goon, I'm gonna light up your room. Who's that coming for me? No way, no I, I gotta get to the bag, but your man won't lean and step in for free. Nah, I can never be that guy. Big man telling white lies. New kid on the scene when I talk, it's a move. I'm a big deal now, the one vibes. Uh. Yeah. They can't get close to me, I've been posted where I'm supposed to be. I just up the price and then I count it twice. If they spin the track, then I collect the fee. You talk about me, would you tell them? That's 029 if I bell them. Real hood rat, I've been that from early. I stamp on a bitch, get sturdy. I'm up in the cut like salt in the wounds, and his hands on my hip if he step in the room. Who said what? I don't even have time, I don't clear up. I just let them assume. Ain't James from Wales, I'm about bricks and scales. Back road with the right, get bumpy. How you bad from country? You wanna find out, come buck me. Tools come packed, sticks in tack, there ain't no refunds if you give me tough track. Any man I had, no, you wanted me back. Cause they're running free slacks, and I got it like that. Paying in cash for your pattern in tabs, and you're peddling packs while we hopping out cabs. Don't stick, no blem. Like our friends leave guys in the dirt, now we're dabbing out facts. I spy with my little eye, something that I didn't wanna crash on sight. Bare little girls trying to chat my life, but you couldn't even f in mind if you tried. Flow's untouchable, street cred moving all tactical. Outfit steady, unmatchable. Stay tight, that's 
faction on. Uh, who's trying to pull up boom boom when I need more time? My flow's too sick like my name's Rona. I don't, I don't want to play with a dog, no sir. Money is the next star new owner. I'm not steady with the Jews, ain't no kosher. Pull up and close when Grover and your n***a fell asleep on my bed. And I don't trust one car. Who's that coming for me? I, I got to get to the bag, but your man won't lean and step in for free. Nah, I can never be that guy. Big man telling white lies. New kid on the scene when I talk, it's a move. I'm a big deal, now they want vibes. Uh. I said, chum bad, spin that block like an elephant. See, half of these is irrelevant. Hey, Monzo, who's really ripping it? Two bad kids from the south, you're shelling it. Bad the game is miss celebrate. We can to body the scene for the hell of it. Can to body the scene for the hell of it. Brand new first pin games, they check it out. See, Monzo Carter, that's gold. Ask who's that, they're stealing our flow. I need six figures to make my team blow. We're making these hits. Shout out to Pop Smoke. Niger babe step in like Tanny. Tanny, I foster these bitches, no. Ali, Ali, real bad like Sally, make bread on the ends, new flat, new Ali. Who's that coming for me? I gotta get to the bag, but your man won't lean and step in for free. Nah, I can never be that guy. Big man telling white lies. New kid on the team when I talk, he's a move. I'm a big deal, now they want vibes. Uh. Please tell me about that. How did you come up with that concept kind of thing? You start. So, <laughs> with who's that? Um, so, basically, I met Monzo on Instagram. Yeah. And I saw her videos and I was saying to my friends, like, no, I'm sorry, we have to work. Like, <laughs> we have to work. So, one day I was going to studio and I said to Monzo, come along, come studio, come vibes. Okay. And I was basically in the process of recording my EP. Which one was that? New Kid on the Block. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, which came out in March. <coughs> so, um, Who's that? I was recording. I only had like one verse and I had the chorus. And then I said to Monzo, like, what do you think? Do you want to jump on the tune? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's, I, I mean, your bars are fucking amazing. Oh, real, for real, for real. Kind of <laughs> In fact, when I heard it, it took me to go on to um, the YouTube to find some of your tracks. Yeah. And uh, Sneaky Link, my dear, I was, I was like, what the fuck is this? <laughs> oh my God, it was on repeat for about good two three hours kind of thing oh, while i was doing my work up in here it's a very nice track i want to play it right now kind of thing so yeah. hold on a second uh. Uh. Yeah. Said he wanna feel breast and bum for the night Cause I make it feel easy, I make it feel easy. He said no more text, no more nudes I want it in 3D But I said I got a base So you know you're just a link that I gotta keep sneaky He said that's all calm, that's all right Just pull up in your TT Confessions I got a boo But I know what to do When I enter the room So let me lay down the rules If I wanna get sensual You better cop me something from central And my body ain't yours So you better not crash this rental Uh, yeah, yeah my sneaking ink is too mad, my leave a nigga I have, my be my nigga too bad. Uh, too. Baby, looking bad, me pull up sex and then dash, uh, pull up sex and then dash, uh, uh, you know strings is attached, uh, pull up sex and then My sneaking ink is too mad, my leave a nigga I have, my be my nigga too bad. Too. Baby, looking bad, me pull up sex and then dash, uh, pull up sex and then dash, uh, uh, you know strings is attached. Uh, see, my nigga don't know it's here for me, but he still can't focus. Yeah. Why they wanna come look up my notice? Head game six, so you want diagnosis? Anyone see? My nigga find out you move crazy and he move tap. What? But I know that you know both ways to so lick off the whack. That's true. And I know what you say with good niggas, but I can't help it. I love hood niggas. Finance niggas make good figures, but they don't spread bread like magic girls. That's a fact. And my girl just text me, group chat, trying to find out how you sex. So I brew up the tea, spill it off, made a mess, no tetly My sneaky link is too deadly My sneaky link is too mad My leave the nigga I have My be my nigga too bad Too big, we looking back We pull up sex and then dash uh, Pull up sex and then dash Look, no strings is attached uh, Pull up sex and then dash 
mine Sneaking in cause too mad money Leave the nigga I have mine Leave my nigga too bad to Babe, we ain't looking back We pull up sex and then dash uh, Pull up sex and then dash uh, When no strings is attached uh, Pretty no sweet But these niggas really wanna tap in My side niggas always wanna trap in Love drama, so I'm always acting I get home to my nigga clapping You my little secret I escaped to Should've never chosen you, should've chose you Yeah, I'm stuck to this nigga like a real glue Might turn my side nigga to my main dude Like what? My sneaking ink is too mad Might leave the nigga I have Might leave my nigga too bad to Babe, we ain't looking back We pull up sex and then dash uh, Pull up sex and then dash Look, you know strings is attached uh, This is why we call it track let me know about sneaky link i mean the bars are so tough kind of thing thank you um basically i was just going through it so i wrote that song a year and a half ago okay um um so like i was actually going through it at that time that's exactly how i was feeling i was like all right i'm talking to this guy and then this other guy's coming on let me just write about it so i just wrote the song and yeah that's how it just came about pretty much oh my god that is such a vibe <laughs> that is such a vibe and then um then and then i went to um to discover um what name um you the you the EP. Oh, say, oh parental advisory parental advisory everyone like they go and go out onto youtube and check out the parental yes. advisory is it available on any other platforms it's available on soundcloud okay um, cool and youtube at the moment but eventually i'm gonna get it well, we're going to link that track in this um, thing so uh, and the actual um, mixtape because you will have to check it out. Yeah. Explain about that kind of thing because what I noticed it was like uh, bangers. Yeah. All the beats that we know like from Notorious yeah. B.I.G. Yeah. From uh, what else was on there? It was Doing It remix like um, that's also called Bad Beef on the Block. All of them, um, but like, and then you've just put your rap on it basically. Yeah. Oh my God, maybe making it so recognisable. Um, <laughs> Hats off to you, hats off to you. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, what's the next question that I've got for you? So, you all are young people, right? I'm, I'm like in my 40s, and so the internet to me no is... <laughs> yeah, yeah. The internet to me is, is a myth kind of thing, I just don't understand it. So, right. you as young people, how do you see the internet? Do you, think, do you see it as like a more, like, does it... Um, greatly affect your your production kind of thing when you're doing your marketing your pr and stuff like that do you utilize it as a pr and marketing tool yeah. or do you or do you find it like a hindrance you just can't be asked with all that um it depends on what it is some of some of the stuff is like oh, i kind of like can't bothered but for the majority of like the apps and promotion and things like that i feel like the internet just like like helps like tiktok i love that app okay it helps so much to just get yourself out there to a bigger audience um yeah how about yourself um sorry yeah no um i think the same thing to be honest like promoting on all sites like all apps that you have is the best way to be honest like i use all of them i mean i really do need to come to use like for some advice for real for real kind of thing because <laughs> even on the drive here yeah, like I wouldn't even feel like, you know, we've, we've kind of like been together all day kind of thing. I came to um, to get you all at the um, train station and whatnot. And between the time, you all have been in your phones doing the thing. And I would never have even <laughs> thought of picking up my phone and doing that. Like, oh my God, I'm like, you know, because yeah. it just doesn't come into my mind. Yeah. But it goes into you, my mind, and you're all there like doing your lives and shit. And I'm yeah. like, oh, I need to, I need to get on board. But I'm just so old, man. Oh, well. No, no, no. It just, it's just, it's just getting into it, literally. Just... Okay. Just get into it. Once you have a vibe and you start going through it, you just be, you'll be fine. Cool. <laughs> All right, then. I'm going to have to take my lessons from you. So I'm going to be stalking you all in the next kind of thing. <laughs> see, <laughs> see what I'm going to post. Um, what's the next question? Um, who is your dream collabs? Oh, my 
But stop. Me. Like, yeah, he go first. My dream collab. I can't even lie. It will be Nicki Minaj and Lil Kim. Okay. And me all on one track. Nice, but that's a bit controversial because Nicki Minaj and um and uh, Lil, Kim. Lil Kim's got beef, ain't they? I I love them too. They have both inspired me, and I feel like it would just be a monumental moment if they was to get on a track yeah. together. So with me being on it, I don't have to do anything. I could just breathe. My God, I need, put, <laughs> we, need to put, we need to put all our good intentions on this collaboration, yeah. please. Oh that my God. That would be it for me. Carter, mm. let, me sit, let me hear about your um, dream collab. I have two artists, mm. and I always say this. So my first one will be Saucy Santana. Mm. Yes. Uh, that would definitely be dope. And... My next one would be Megan Thee Stallion. Okay. Yeah. Go on, go on. That's nice. That's a nice. I can see. I can see that, especially the Saucy Santana one kind of thing, because you all got the same kind of vibe. And um, my man can really shake his ass. <laughs> like it, it is, isn't it? Kind of thing. I, I am. It, I am. I, I am being like I I am think... grammatically correct when I say he. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Because I never know. <laughs> you know I mean, I'm in the. I'm in the. Um, I'm in the, um, the community also. However. Um, there's so many um, adjectives these days kind of thing to describe <laughs> people that I never know what the fuck is going on. So I have to be like political, politically correct and all that jazz. Anywho, um, what's your, your, your current project? What are you um, promoting right now at the moment? Currently promoting, <laughs> we're promoting flipping, oh gosh, sorry. That's so good. Me. Yeah, yeah, I like that. Yeah, <laughs> um, we're promoting that remix. Okay, cool. Feature. Juice Menace, Nalika, Lano D, Monzo, okay. and produced by Louis Sevright. Okay, nice. I have to go check out Louis Sevright yes. as well, kind of thing. And how about yourself, Monzo? What are you promoting currently? I'm still Sneaky Link. Okay. Um, I, I've got a bunch of new songs that are going to be coming out very, very soon as well. So. I can't wait. Yeah. Okay, ladies and gentlemen. Um, thank you so much for being here with us. I thank wanted you. to ask you like a little tea question kind of thing. It's called, yeah. I'm keeping stum. So, um, what does that mean? Favorite word. I'm keeping quiet. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not keeping stum. What does that mean? <laughs> <laughs> I'm so, um, for example, kind of thing. One time at band camp, um, I accident we accidentally drank um a load of per somebody's. Alcohol. They were stashing their alcohol. Mm -hmm. it's, it's an old Jewish camp, and no one was meant to be doing no alcohol <laughs> on the camp kind of thing. And we found this cabin that no one has ever been to kind of thing. So we went in there, found a bag of alcohol. So we went in there, we drank it all. Two years now, the person who owned it came back and was like, "Where the fuck is my alcohol? I want them all back there, or was your sacked?" So we went down to fucking um, uh, what was it? Um, Walmart, I think it was, bought a lot of cheap alcohol and. Um, you know, proceeded to blow it back into the bottles because it was, you know, the bottles that you can't actually yeah, like. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, that person over there in America, when we were doing it kind of thing, you were drinking our spit. So, um, for you, um, <laughs> what, um, what, 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 um, what stories do you have about the music industry or any, any things that you, that you, um, you keep in stum? Oh, I have to keep stum. <laughs> yeah, I have to keep stum. Okay, so, cool. I, I um, I don't know. I can't think. It's, it's a random question. I don't know. It is random. It's alright if you don't. <laughs> <laughs> you don't, you don't know. Do I'm gonna keep it strong. Cool. Oh, and that's the yeah. that's the aim of the game. That's the aim of the game. <laughs> cool. Well, thank you both so much thank for being you. here with us. I'm going to leave us um with this here track by uh Carter the Bandit, and it is. Lurking, which was is one of my favorites kind of thing. So yeah, we'll leave you with this one and we'll see you next show. Lurking, these niggas are searching, hurting Cause I'm on your back for certain If I drop a body then it's curtains I'm on my way, I just skirting Look how I talk, I murk it These niggas are sad cause I'm in my bag Hit the lotto, now I'm working Lurking, lurking These niggas are searching, hurting Cause I'm on your back for certain If I drop a body then it's curtains I'm on my way, I just skirting Look how I talk, I murk it These niggas are sad cause I'm in my bag Hit the lotto, now I'm working Lurking, stepped in, all fresh, ready for the game, my 
mind your business, stay in your lane uh, I got bars you can't contain These man them move mad just for fame uh, I got the juice, uh, uh, these niggas stay wassing they're loose they're These niggas ain't making them views I'm too big to be fucking with you I'm too big, got these niggas on mute I'm too bad, they can't do what I do uh, Better call your man cause he's watching my moves uh, He's got hella chat but he's in my review uh, Watch me pull up in a ghost Popping bottles do the most I'm that nigga with the pretty figure Got your nigga tripping like a hoe Lurking, these niggas are searching, hurting Cause I'm on your back for certain If I drop a body then it's curtains I'm on my way, I just skirting Look how I talk, I murk it These niggas are sad cause I'm in my bag Hit the lotto, now I'm working Lurking, lurking These niggas are searching, hurting Cause I'm on your back for certain If I drop a body then it's curtains I'm on my way, I just skirting Look how I talk, I murk it These niggas are sad cause I'm in my bag Hit the lotto, now I'm working Lurking, lurking, lurking